Hey, innocent fam. All right, we here for another innocent report. And what I got here is a download this morning, like just waking up, coming out of my sleep. I could hear Stevie Wonders ripping in the sky. So somebody is sending you this love ballad. You got, oop, the bottom of the deck, we got the Ace of Cups. And I also just saw the Four of Cups. So you might not be wanting to hear it, but somebody is sending this love ballad to you over the airways innocent fam all right this will be going to do for the innocent report i'm ready because you got whoever you are you got somebody feeling real optimistic okay we're going to go ahead and get into this while we listen to these lyrics and analyze them
home. <laughs> Listen, whoever you are, okay, you have this person. You have this person feeling like a blind piano player. <laughs> whoever you are, you got this person feeling real optimistic, okay? The ribbon in the sky. It, that it's just hilarious, okay? So before we get into this storyline, this is the whole storyline that, that just popped out while the song was playing. I definitely heard this loud and clear. When I sat up in my bed this morning, I was like sitting there praying and stuff. And then I, it took me a minute to really catch on. Like, wait, am I hearing a ribbon in the sky? Yo, it was hilarious. Okay. But first of all, I want to know, before we get into the storyline, we're going to get into the innocent deck. I want to know who this is. I want to know who this is. I started pulling some cards on it this morning. I definitely, I got the Ace of Cups. I got the Ace of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the, um, I got the Ace of Cups. No, I'm sorry. I got the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Four of Cups. So it could be possible water sign energy or, you know, somebody with unconditional love, somebody who might be feeling some kind of unconditional love or think they feel unconditional love for you. Um, the Ten of Cups is literally a ribbon in the sky. It's a rainbow. So that's a ribbon. A rainbow is the ribbon in the sky. So it was, I don't know. That's what I got this morning, though, when I heard the download. That's not what's on this table. What's on this table is what's for you. I don't know. What I got this morning might have been for me. I don't know. I got the Seven of Pentacles here. Whoever this is, this is somebody who might be an earth sign, earth energy. Somebody's trying to manifest you. Somebody's taking a good look at some things, okay? I have 710 on the timer. They're taking a good look at these things. Like, they're they're trying to manifest you. They're trying to make something grow. It's not really growing or it might be taking too long, but it could be an earth sign energy. I don't know. But when I ask the card, you know, who is this? I got Seven of Pentacles. You know, the on the Seven, on the seven of Pentacles traditional tarot card, it's a man sitting there looking for a way, like taking a hard look at something, okay? So it could be a masculine energy, but also this card just flipped down on top of this page of pentacles. Could be a Taurus. Um, that's definitely earth energy. You know, this page of pentacles could be somebody younger than you. Okay. That's hilarious. Okay. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, I have the two of pentacles. So definitely, definitely earth energy. Um, you got feeling like a <laughs> optimistic. Okay. I don't know. I don't know who this is, but you got him for them. I have six of cups, somebody from your past, okay? Somebody who just wants to, I don't know. Somebody who wants to manifest you about the past. I don't know. That's hilarious. We got seven, six here though. Oh wait, see I hate my cards fly on the floor. I'm not even taking any. I hate that. But I know I'm right. These two is what flew on the floor. I have six of pentacles to the, I mean, I have six of cups to the six of pentacles. So, um, then I have the eight of cups. So, what just came out here, whoever this is for, whoever you are, look at this. This is pentacles, cups, pentacles, cups. So this is earth and water. Whatever is going on here, this is earth and water. And like the first card we got on the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is um, somebody's unconditional love, water energy, okay? But this is Pentacles, water, Pentacles, water. I asked the cards, who is this is? So you could be a water sign. This person feeling like this could be a water sign. You could be the earth sign, okay? You could be the younger earth sign. I don't know, but whoever this is, uh, we have Eight of Cups, so... This seven of pentacles. Okay, so they're trying to manifest you up out of the past. Um, six of six of cups, six of pentacles is you reap what you sow from the past. And they might have sown for this water sign to walk away from the situation completely. This the six of pentacles is also breadcrumbing energy, okay? So this could be, you know, somebody who's now taking a good strong look at what you know taking a good strong look at what they did in the past here with this water sign because uh, you reap what you sow 
and or somebody breadcrumbed a water sign. That's really what this is giving. The Six of Pentacles to the Eight of Cups is somebody breadcrumbed, someone breadcrumbed someone else and they completely walked away. They said to hell with all of it and it's done with all of it. So this is who we talking about here, okay? All right, this is hilarious. We gonna get into this, we gonna get into this storyline for the Innocent Report. This is hilarious, yo. I'm doing my best not to laugh. <laughs> Cause somebody's feeling real optimistic. Whoever you are. So, okay. Shh. Oh. Shh. Shh. Gotta shush my kids. Okay. So the first card that came out here is this nine of wands in reverse. So somebody is. Uh, feeling like they're just giving up and walking away. I don't know. We have the Nine of Wands to the Page of Cups to the Magician in Reverse. This is what came out first for the storyline. Okay? Somebody feels defeated because they, I don't know, this 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 Page of Cups, it's like they can't be manifested. Like, that's really what it's, what it's given with this, especially this Seven of Pentacles over here. Somebody feels, somebody is exhausted and tired. They feel like this is like a losing battle trying to, I don't know, maybe trying to, this is talking to somebody or, you know, bringing somebody a message through magic. Somebody is, somebody is feeling real nine of wands reverse. This is getting telepathic. The magician in reverse behind this page of cups. This is telepathic communication. Because somebody feels like there, there's nothing else they could do. Like, this is all they could do. With this nine of wands in reverse, this is all they could do. Like, they're giving up. Like, they're tired. Like, all they could do at this point is, you know, send a telepathic message. It says you need to be patient and a situation will work out properly. Like, they don't have what they need or, you know. They can't manifest or something. I don't know. Let's see. Anytime, you know, there's talking and magician here is tele telepathy and, you know, empathic communication. Like, I feel like this magician is in reverse because they're not, like, doing spell work. They're not, like, literally doing magic. And they're not um, trying to manifest you in carnal ways, like. They're not coming directly for you. I feel like this magician is in reverse, you know, because they are trying to manifest you, but it's not working. <laughs> All right. So what fell in midway underneath of it is the page of pentacles to the sun. Major Arcana is the sun. It's like... See, I wanna, what I'm hearing is it's like maybe, I don't, I don't know. This means a couple different things. I, I, I really gotta tap in a little more. This needs some clarity with some other cards because I'm getting a bunch of different messages from these two. The first message I'm getting is like, they're looking for a message from you. Somebody's looking for a message from you, like to kind of come back. Like see how it's like the sunset. Somebody's looking for a message that you're coming back or something. But I'm also getting, anytime I get pentacles behind this child, I always see child support or something. You know, so I'm, I'm, I don't know. Like, I don't want to ignore what I'm getting, but maybe they can't manifest you and they feel defeated because somebody has to pay child support. I don't know what this is, but they're also looking for a message from you. And then, yeah, two of wands. But they might have made some decisions in the past that weren't the best decisions. Um, then... This. My water. Okay, pick it up. Shh. This Queen of Cups is kind of what fell underneath. Yeah, like this. 
this page of Pentacles is like looking for a message from a Queen of Cups. It's really like how this fell out together. But see, this manifested energy, this is also one, two. Things went in the order. One, two was given order. Things went in the order that it went because make the possible like bad decision this is bad manifesting this is doing something wrong that caused you to manifest results that you didn't want possible magic being done trying to manipulate something and it backfired went horribly wrong this is giving backfire imagine magic energy cause for a surprise that you didn't expect and now they can't come back so maybe maybe you were doing magic to keep somebody stuck and now they're stuck somewhere totally far from you. I don't know. Like me, I don't know. It backfired. Something backfired though. It was really something backfired. This was under here. Something backfired miserably. And I know that's the I know that's the case. We have the devil here. The devil actually flew out over here. The devil was lined up under this. Somebody was somebody was trying to manipulate something in some karmic energy. And what they manifested from the work they did, this eight of pentacles, somebody was doing work. Okay, this is like evil spell work. Like somebody was doing work. But what they manifested, see here go cups and pentacles. The person, the water sign is in this four of cups energy. Like they don't want to hear it. They're good. They're whatever. They don't want to hear it. Because of all the work that was being done. So possible manipulation and maybe keep somebody stuck or chained to you. It backfired miserably. Because then what I have over here yeah it didn't work like like y'all aren't working together like maybe they just wanted to work with you and be with you i have this i have this hermit card to the three of pentacles you're gonna have to work alone or you had to work alone it says it's time it said, um, it's time or long past time for you to engage in self-reflection, to revisit your aims and goals, associations, relationships, career, and life path. And then this three of pentacles are perfect. Um, mm, three of pentacles came out. So this is earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo. This is earth energy here, though. The earth sign is going to have to work alone. And then right next to that is this eight of wands in reverse. Because something backfired. Something backfired miserably. This king of wands came out next to this eight of wands. This king of wands could have caused something to backfire horribly. You're going to have to work alone. We have, yeah, we have fire and earth here. And see, this King of Wands card, what it says on the message is that it represents a man of status and wealth and influential, an influential and independent person who helps those he cares about. So maybe he was trying to help. You know, maybe like, maybe y'all putting your energy together. I don't know. Maybe he was trying to help. It's a really, really attractive man. Maybe he was trying to help or he thought he was trying to help. It says the person, um... It says the card can refer to a situation which is exactly as it appears to be. Whenever I get this card in the upright, it's letting me know that I'm spot on in my intuition and I'm reading properly. Because it says with no hint of deception. So things are as it appears. It is exactly the way it looks. Okay? You don't have to read into it or read between the lines. It is exactly the way that the way it looks. It says, good fortune is coming your way, perhaps in the form of unexpected help or advice, good news, a promotion, or inheritance. So, you know, this king of wands, you know, if, if, if you are the king of wands, if you know the king of wands, whoever this is, they were trying to help, but they caused this to backfire miserably. It's like... They were trying to work together, but it didn't work. Like this is this is eight of wands in reverse. Eight, we have eight, nine, and three here. It fell all out of order and it backfired miserably. But he was trying to help. I'm really, really getting that this this king of wands was really just trying to help. He was trying to help, like fight against maybe some warfare that was secretly being done by people that he knew. I'm really getting that there's a masculine here that was trying to help fight against 
against some pot, some energy that might have been being thrown at you in secret. But he knew about it. See, the hermit is in reverse because it was being done in secret by this group, but he knew about it. But it caused you to be stuck. It says you may be stuck in a job you really don't like, but lack the confidence and ambition to strike out and change things for the better. Get going. Thought without action is useless. So he might have known about it. And it might have gotten you stuck. And now, like, it's a complete backfire. Like, this is not the way it was supposed to go. This is unexpectedly bad. With this two of wands in reverse, this is unexpectedly bad. Okay? So, he's trying to stay optimistic. With this ribbon in the sky, so he's trying to stay optimistic. <laughs> he feels like maybe there's an opportunity for, for y'all to be together. Like, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Lord. He's, okay, so I know I'm right. It says, um, this number eight strength card just popped out and flew down right on top of this eight of pentacles. He is trying to stay strong and optimistic. This is, you know, integrity, spiritual strength. He's also trying to work in integrity. With this, with this eight of pentacles to the strength, he's working really, really hard. He's doing some hard work. And he's trying to do it with integrity now. He's trying to do it in the upright, okay? He's, he's not trying to be in this karmic, manipulative energy anymore. Um, but I don't know. What's, I don't know. We have this um, fire energy with this earth energy here. It's Virgo and Leo here. Um, at the bottom of the deck here, I have this five of swords, okay? Um, you know, jealous, kind of um, backbiting. This, this, is, this could be a backbiter. This could be somebody that will do anything just to win, anything just to get over, anything to prove a point. Um, underhanded conniving. This is conniving energy, okay? Yeah, we have this page of wands in reverse. Something you were expecting might not arrive on time or the page might bring a message of unwelcome news. Yeah, it causes disruption in your life and causes you have to travel to put things right. So, um, this, this flipped down on the floor and I'm feeling led to put this page of wands in reverse up under this four of cups card. So... What, what I'm really feeling like, you know, this this water sign, this four of cups energy that, that don't want to be involved, don't want to hear it, you know, blocking everything out with their arms folded, they might have had to travel to make some things right. They might have gotten some unexpected news, possibly about a child with this page energy, or, you know, they got some unexpected news on the phone. They got some bad news over the phone. They had to travel to make things right. And it disrupted all of their plans, okay? Um, let's see. Yeah, I have the Knight of Wands that flew on top of... Leo energy is here heavy with this. This Knight of Wands card flew on top of this Strength card. Um... But it's definitely giving, they had to move fast. Something had to happen fast. Something had to happen fast. Um, it's like Night of Wands. Shh. 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 What, baby? Get out. There's nothing wrong with you. You're fine. Go get your water. Stop whining. Don't cry. Come on. Right with justice, please. Thank you. Okay, yeah, all right. So, um, a Leo, it's heavy Leo energy here. A Leo, a Leo might, might have done something too fast, might have rushed into something um, that wasn't safe. I don't know. But either way, it had to happen fast. Something had to happen very fast because of what this Leo was doing that, you know, possibly might have caused this water sign 
to get unexpected news, they have to go travel and make things right. And you know, Yeah, I'm definitely getting like this Leo was connected to this water sign that did that did something, did something like detrimental. And it's almost like they had to like rush in and save the day. They had to rush in and kind of fix things. You know, challenges are associated, but embracing them as something positive to come is suggested. So this, whatever this Leo did might have been the universe's way of helping to fix a problem as well. There might have already been, you know, something going on. But it's ambitious, energetic, and determined. You know, this could also be hot-tempered and fast. Either way, the Knight of Wands is fast and high-powered, like high-energy, fiery energy, okay? And this water sign had to, had to make shit happen, had to get up and make a move and run and look like... This also might be the energy that the, that the Taurus was in too. Oh, yep, see? And that's exactly what I'm getting. I got the Eight of Cups again, just like up here. The Eight of Cups, this water sign had to really, really leave everything, everything behind and rush, rush off, seriously. That's really what I'm getting. It flew down right on top of this, right on top of these wands. And that's why I, I definitely felt like this Leo was connected to this water sign that did something to cause some disruption to make to cause this this water sign to have to travel and make things right get things situated so we have whoever sent this music to you you know you might be the water sign but whoever sent this music to you they're trying to stay optimistic because the water sign walked away whoever this water sign is they they had to walk away and leave everything behind they're done they're in the four of cups you know, anything from the past, they're not entertaining anymore. They're done. Oh, yeah, fast. I have the Knight of Swords on top of the Knight of Wands. They had to get away fast. Or there was going to be some kind of bondage. Okay, I have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. There was going to be a problem. So do not take it. I'm really hearing, like, don't take it personal. I'm really, really hearing that. Don't take it personal. But they had to get. They had to get moving. Like they had to rush in. It was some. It was some stuff going on. Like they had to go save the day. This is like save the day rescue type energy, okay? Or there was gonna be some bondage. The Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups to the Knight of Wands. A lot of eights here. Number eights are here. But the Eight of Cups to the Eight of Swords. You know what I mean? It's like they had to rush in before something detrimental could happen so don't take it personal don't take it personal somebody's trying to stay optimistic i have the five of pentacles okay earth energy um this earth this earth sign might feel like you know they were left out in the cold like they were left in the dust they were left out i don't know we're gonna get some more clarity on it what's going on with this Five of Pentacles. This this water sign might have been in the Five of Pentacles. Okay? And they might have turned to this to this Leo energy. This earth sign might have been to in the Five of Pentacles due to this earth energy. I mean due to this fire energy. This earth sign might have been in the Five of Pentacles with I'm getting with a fire energy as well. Either way, though, this Five of Pentacles flew on top of this Eight of Cups. So, they, they left everything behind. They left their home behind, anything that they was establishing. This water sign left, and they left fast. And it was serious, and it was urgent. It was no joke. And it was, you know, it has a lot to do with whatever this, whoever this Leo energy is that's connected to this water sign. I have the Queen of Swords. I have the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yo, hush. And then what flew on top of this? What flew on top of this Knight of Swords is 
the high priestess more water energy had to go okay had to move on to calmer waters this high priestess could be a tarot reader a cancer this water sign had to get moving this flew on top of this knight of swords Let me go tell them to be quiet. But I just heard, but I just heard, I went in there to go deal with my kids when I was getting this download. This water sign could intuitively pick up that somebody was trying to take her kids away or somebody was trying to take her family. Somebody was doing something. See them swords around them little people? This water sign could intuitively read or pick up that something was going on with her family. Something, you know, she had to move on. She had to move on. Whoever this is, okay? And it definitely, I keep on saying she because this is a woman here. The high priestess is a, is a feminine energy. But she had to move on. It was time to go. It was a wrap, okay? All right. Let's see. Let's get... Let's get messages of love. So whoever sent this Ribbon in the Sky song to you, let's get a message of love. Okay, uh, four cars just flew down on the floor. When stuff flies on the floor, it kind of gives me a sign like a bottom line or a foundation or um, something being over, something being done, maybe. Um, but yeah, they I don't know why they flip down like that. Let's grab them. The only car, this is how they fell down on the floor. So these three were turned over. But what fell down and flipped over that was actually looking at me. When my cards are in midway, oops, fell again. <laughs> when my cards it fell again, okay. When my cards are in midway, that lets me know it's the current energy. This is current energy. And at the bottom of that, before I even started the reading, I had the Ace of Cups. So this is somebody's true love. Or the person who sent you this song is feeling like you are their true love or they think that they are your true love, okay? It says this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional, okay? So this is the message of love. Let's see what these say. Okay, these were flipped over on the floor. It says this is a lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Go slow. Take time to know to get to know each other in abundance. You've done you've done the work. Abundance slow. So the lesson that you needed to learn is to take things slowly with people. Because you learn that lesson, or when you learn that lesson, you'll receive the abundance that God has for you. Like, like you'll you'll receive what the universe has for you. Lesson go slow. So whoever this is, you might they might feel like you are their true love. This is how they feel in their current energy. As for you, the message of love for you is that this person was in your life to teach you a lesson. Take time to get to know people. Don't just jump all in. Don't make no quick commitments. Okay? And as soon as you learn that and you realize that, you will reap, you will get all of the abundance the universe has for you. But this person was in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. All right. Let's get the hidden truth. All right, bottom of the deck, it says, I wish things could be different. So this person is trying to stay optimistic. They are wishing and hoping and praying on a star. The first thing that Stevie says in the song is like, you know, for so long at night, I pray that a star would bring you back, like to guide you my way. But, you know, this person is feeling like they wish things could be different. They do. They're trying to stay optimistic. All right. This person is so attracted to you, okay? You got them feeling like... 
I very you got them feeling like for so long I want to touch your hand and please you once again or something like that Stevie's over here saying okay all right but they are highly attracted to you whether you know it or not they feel like it's a ribbon in the sky for y'all like there there's an opportunity for y'all like there's still hope for y'all is what I just heard somebody really really thinks that there might still be hope for y'all I don't know if there is but that's what this is what they're feeling by sending you this like sending you know sending you this love ballad through me they're you they this person used me to send you this love ballad is what i'm getting yeah i want you is what they said so that felt like you know this is the hidden truth this is the hidden truth this is what's deep down you don't know they might have never told you this but they're very attracted to you and they want you Okay, Stevie just said this is not a coincidence. This is not a coincidence. Ain't no coincidences. It's far more than luck. It's far more than coincidence. They are very attracted to you and they still want to be with you. And you might have left feeling like they didn't want you, they didn't want to be with you, or they weren't attracted to you. That's why I just coming out in hidden truth. This is the hidden truth. So they didn't express how they felt. I had 1555 on the microwave clock. It's in military time. It says 1555. So I'm definitely like, right, like they might have hid this truth from you, but they want you and they're highly attracted to you. Any more hidden truths? couldn't let you get close to me so for whatever reason they didn't say this they didn't say this because I really just heard like they <laughs> it's like they didn't I'm trying to put this in the right words they didn't like want to offend you with something it's like all right <laughs> Empathically, what I'm sensing is they didn't want to... Something about them. Something about them was going to offend you. Or possibly make you reject them. And they couldn't let that happen. Their intentions was to keep you. And they didn't think that letting you, you know, come in close. Like, like letting you get too close to them emotionally. Whatever this is, they didn't think that they'd be able to keep you if they allowed you to get too close to them or see too much or know or know too much. Okay. But whatever y'all had, they want it back. Okay. Whatever relationship, whatever they had deep down inside, the hidden truth. The hidden truth is that they want that. They want it back. It says, I want to feel that way again. They want it back. They, maybe they couldn't let you get close and they had to let you go before, but they want it back. Just know that. They want you. I want you. I want to feel that way again. I couldn't. Maybe I couldn't do it before, but like, you know, I'm highly magnetically attracted to you. You might be my true love and I want to feel that true love again. I want you back is what they're saying. Okay. All right, um, I'm gonna get a love orb. Okay, haven't used this deck in a while. We just gonna get some advice. God, give us some advice on this. Give us some advice on this. I mean, personally my advice to you is if you turned around and walked to go the other direction for a reason focus stick to your reason focus stay focused don't allow any energy that you pick up on empathically from anybody else to break your focus or break what you have to do if you walk the way you walk the way for a reason this is all loving and beautiful and fine and everything but if you are you know, if you are the water sign and had to turn around and go and keep going, you have to keep going. That's just the energy here. And that's what came out. You have to keep going and moving on. 
this is, you know, this is moving on to calmer waters. You had to move on. You had to keep moving on. You got to keep going. If you are the earth sign here, let's get you, if you're the earth sign here, we're going to get you, we're going to get you a message from the spirit guy, because I don't even know what to say to you at this point. Um, Because I don't... I don't know. I've never felt like this about nobody. I don't, like, I, I can't relate. <laughs> I can't relate, but whoever you are, you got, whoever's receiving this message, you got somebody feeling like as optimistic as a blind piano player. Responsibility, okay, so to the earth sign, the universe wants you to maybe take responsibility for this. It says you are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. So, you know, the universe is saying to the earth sign, you know, you know good and well. You know good and well that your thoughts and your actions can reach the people that you intend for them to reach. You know your power. You know you're strong and you know you're powerful. So take responsibility for what energy you sent and what energy you did not send. That's the love message for the earth sign. Let's get you another love message from the universe. All right. So nothing nothing fell out but this expression card the bottom of the deck is here and it tried to fall out my hand so this is what i'm supposed to take it says expression you are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform transform them into acts of love so stop thinking about it and act on it is what your spirit guides want you to do if you're the earth sign here and these two cards look they have like that same pattern that rainbow pattern in the back that rainbow pattern is like that ribbon in the sky that you think is there that hope it says responsibility and expression. But both of these cards are talking about thoughts. Both of these cards are like talking about manifesting your thoughts. All right, so this is what the spirit guide wants you to know. Expression, you are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. All right, let's get a love message for the water sign here. Because clearly, clearly this is earth and water. I mean, um, according to this, this, this ain't nothing but earth and water. The next card behind that was friendliness. You are able to recognize the, I'm sorry, you are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections. So y'all might, y'all might have a lot in common. Y'all might have just been friends, maybe. So that's why, you know, water sign, that's why you may not know how this person genuinely feels. Y'all might have just been friends. And they didn't feel like you could get that close to them as their friend. Like, they might not have a lot of, a whole lot of uh, real friends, you know? But water sign, the um, spirit guides are also giving you a message of integrity. It says integrity. Stay strong, okay? Water sign, stay strong. You're going to have to do what you have to do. Stay focused. Integrity. Integrity is spiritual strength. It says you demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. So water sign, you're always going to have love. You're always like you're always going to be able to manifest people who want you and people who are attracted to you, people who want your energy because of your strength and your spiritual integrity. Your spiritual strength is demonstrated through all the love you give, all of your, you know, loyalty and devotion. So, you know, you're always gonna be you're always gonna find people who feel like this about you but check their integrity did they actually show it and you have to stay strong this integrity message is telling me like tell you you know you gotta stay strong Shh. okay so now all right this just flew this just flew on the floor so you might have to stay strong because you're out of patience water sign it says patience like and that's what i'm getting with this four of cups and this eight of cups you can't wait <laughs> you're out of patience so you're gonna have to stay strong and use your integrity because it says you are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm 
patience. But this patience card flew on the floor in reverse. So that means something is dumb. When stuff be falling on the floor, it be trying to tell me something. Because this ain't falling on the floor. But, yeah. The water sign is, is, like, not waiting. But have patience and integrity. Like, have, have the strength to wait on the universe. Integrity and patience together means just have the strength to wait on the universe to send you love. Wait on the universe to send you your, you know, your ace of cups, your true love. Because you already put that energy out. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul. So you've already put it out. You've already earned your true love. It says, you know, abundance is here for you. You know, have patience. The lesson, and that's what this is going to be as well. Message of love from the universe. The lesson is to go slow and be patient. Don't go fast with people. Don't jump right into things with people. Go slow and wait because you, you've done the work. You've done the work. Abundance, abundance flows to you now. So you're going to have an abundance of love. You're going to have an, an abundance of people who want to be in your energy. Who want to sing love ballads to you. It just It is what it is. But she, the lesson was to take time and go slow. Get to know people first. But you've done the work. And that's what this is telling me too. Like you are strong. You've already demonstrated the truth of your soul. and your, With your honesty. So you're already manifesting love. Just be patient. It's coming in. You are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to this own way. Listen, you did the work already. Just be patient. It's coming in for you. Okay, what a sign. Now, it looked like you had to get up and jet for some reason. But it stopped you from waiting. Whatever happened, happened for a reason. And this love ballad is beautiful and everything. But listen... Stay strong, okay? Do what you know is best. Do what's in your high, for your highest good and stay focused, all right? All right, to love you, innocent fam. This was fun.